Hey, what is going on guys? Happy to on 5 here. Today I'm going to show you a basic tutorial on how to make a stream overlay. Um, basically your um, width, your dimensions will be 1920 by 1080p. It depends on your video size, but uh, I usually make it 1920 by 1080p and even if my video is 720p, it will still crop itself down so it will be fine. I'm just going to make this a normal layer and then put a blank layer on top of it and delete this back one. Now, uh, basically what you want to do, uh, there's many ways of doing uh, different types of overlays. Uh, all depends on your preference. And I'm gonna get this out of the way. Right there, I'm gonna put these guidelines down. Uh, this will snap to the middle, so it's fine. What I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna do this with a pen tool. So if you hold down, okay, I'm gonna show you here. If you do this, you'll get basic pen tool lines and then you can make a box like that. But if you make one and then hold it down, you can make a curved one and you can change how you want the curves to be. Sorry. You just hold down control and then you can move the control, the curves and you can move the line around. And also, let me just get rid of these. If you click one and you hold down shift, this is for windows, then you'll get straight lines like 45 degree lines and straight lines these are just the basics uh, but here i'm to show you i'm here to show you the how to make a stream overlay so we're gonna click there there around there i know this is a bit off but it's fine and then before when i would go right click it i'll go full path then it would do this and I couldn't inverse it or anything like that. So what I did was I went make selection, said okay. And then if I click here, it's gonna fold outside, but I don't want it to fold outside. Um, here's a better color system. So yeah, I don't want it to fold outside. So I'm gonna go select inverse and then fold, and fold inside. But here I'm going to make this white. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. I'm just trying to save as much of your time as possible. What we're gonna do is gonna um, duplicate this layer, duplicate this layer. I'm gonna go duplicate layer. I'm gonna move it to around there. Then we're gonna go to edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then you could hold these down and press E to merge, or you could just right click and merge down. And then after this, what we're gonna do is gonna go to blending options. We're going to put a gradient overlay on it. I'm going to make this around 25%, then we, do we want a color? Let me just see if I want a color or not. Okay, we're going to make this, let's make this one orange. Okay, we're making it orange. Then we're going to go to blending options, gradient overlay. We're going to turn the gradient overlay around to, I think 25% is fine. Um, if you want it to look reflective, you can go to reflective and then reverse, then it'll look shiny. Uh, it all depends if you have a squared version of it or the way I'm doing it, but I'm going to make this linear and then normal like that. Then I'm going to go to outer glow. I'm going to make this fully white. I'm going to increase this to 100% to make this normal. I'm going to change the spread to 100 and then that can be around 5. Then I'm going to go to drop shadow. Uh, the drop shadow resistance is fine. I'm going to turn up the drop shadow to around... Uh, let's make it 20-ish. Let's just type in 20. And I'm going to make it 100%. And then when you have a picture or video behind it, then it'll be like this. So. This is what you'll see. Now, if you want your text on it, you could just, I'm gonna use my name as an example, hybrid, I'm gonna drag this to there. I'm gonna put hybrid on top of it. Uh, I'm gonna make hybrid white. I'm just gonna center it like this. Ooh, I centered it the wrong way. There we go. Now it's nice and centered. We're gonna go to blending options. Gradient overlay, make this 25 again. If you want it shiny, as I said, reflective, and then reverse, then it'll look shiny. Gonna go to drop shadow, make the drop shadow zero. Uh, the spread I want around seven. This 
I want it reduced even more. I'm actually going to make this linear. And then you'll have your name there. I'm going to remove these because I don't want them anymore. There's a shortcut to doing that, to remove them all at once, but I don't remember what it was. And then when you have a picture or video behind it, then it'll be like this. So this is what you'll see. Now, if you want your text on it, you could just, I'm going to use my name as an example, hybrid. I'm going to drag this to there. I'm going to put hybrid on top of it. Uh, I'm going to make hybrid white. I'm just going to center it like this. Ooh, I centered it the wrong way. There we go. Now it's nice and centered. We're going to go to blending options. Gradient overlay, make this 25 again. If you want it shiny, as I said, reflective and then reverse, then it'll look shiny. Gonna go to drop shadow, make the drop shadow zero. Uh, the spread I want around seven. This I want reduced even more. I'm actually gonna make this linear. And then you'll have your name there. I'm gonna remove these because I don't want them anymore. There's a shortcut to doing that to remove them all at once, but I don't remember what it was. If you want icons on your stream overlay, um, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to go place, uh, crop these down. This isn't usually how... Uh, you can do it however you want to. It's all about your personal preference. You can put... You could make this a straight one and not have your name in and just put all your links in. Or you could do it the way I'm doing it. Um, I'm just doing this uh, quick draft so it's not going to look perfect. Then I'm just going to take in like a cat face like this and add it in somewhere where would I want it. Um, there. And I'm going to put like this cat face like there. Yeah. Uh, duplicate layer. Edit. Transform. Flip horizontally. And there we go. If you want a block there where you're, you want a webcam face thing to be, then I'm just going to remove this layer and make a new one. Let me actually hide all of these besides the hybrid one. So I'm going to go to pen tool. I'm not going to do this with borders. I'm just going to make quick borders over here. Pen tool. Hold on shift. Hold on shift. Boom. And that's what it will be like. Then you just go to make selection. Okay. Inverse. Oh, sorry. I should. I forgot to put this on a layer. And then what we're going to do after this is we're going to go to select, deselect, we're going to take this blocky out of here. And then we're going to go control X or however you'd want to cut it out. And then if you don't want to redo all of these blending options uh, and you've done it on one of these types, one of these types, you can just go to right click, copy layer style, go back to this. Right click paste layer style and then you'll have a blockage where you can put your face cam in. That will the same thing will work if I type in hybrid. Um, I'm gonna crop this down. I mean I'll even make it a different font for you. I'm just teaching you guys extra stuff in case you'd ask. And then I'm gonna go to my name, right click it, copy layer style. Go to this version, right click, paste layer style, and then you have the exact same things that's there um, over here. That's been my tutorial on how to make a stream overlay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I am planning on making Vegas Pro tutorials because I have been getting some questions on that, and it'll be easier if I could just tell you all at once instead of one by one. And um, some people have been saying that these have been helping, so I'll be making more of these for you guys. Uh, it's been Hybrid215, and I shall see you on my next video. Bye-bye.